Okay guys, so I just did the test and it does appear to function the way the other one did, which I would call properly. And um, so the way it is right now, I put in 11.7 volts-ish. And that's what will be across here, 11 point something. 11.52 volts on the series cap and on the extraction parallel cap we have 1.6 volts so that's our ratio of reduction so approximately uh, 10 times reduction right now but I think that changes as we raise the voltage so we'll see but uh, either way it, our device is going to function so if we put 2000 volts in there we should be sitting at about 300 volts for sure here with 2000 volts in there but that may change the, the higher we raise the voltage you know what i mean either way exactly as it's presented it's perfectly functioning with tremendous amount of joule here something like uh, uh 3000 joule available so if you really wanted to do that, uh, do that math, if we could supply this so that it was like infinite, it never really ended. We never ever really could deplete these caps. That means we would always have, say, 3,000 joule there, which is 3,000 watts. 60 times a second is 180 kilowatts or some shit, if that's right. 3,000 times, yeah, 180 kilowatts. Uh, could literally go through this with the, this amount of capacitance if we could pump it in fast enough that we could never pull it out. Uh, not that we're going to <laughs> switch 3,000 joule, but I mean, it's just always there. Okay, so perfectly functioning voltage reduction that should put us in the ballpark, but I won't really know until I charge it up higher. I just, this much capacitance... I'm not really, like, I'm not putting a lot of power into this right now. Once I get it on the table and hooked up, now that it's finally constructed, tested, functioning, we're going to see what will happen. And so if we go from 11 volts to 100 volts, we're going to go to 15 volts, right? Just move the decimal. And then if we go to 1,000 volts, we're going to go to 150 volts. If we go to 2,000 volts, we're going to go to minimum 300 volts here. Perfect. All right, guys, a lot of pissing around, but I believe that to be the proper configuration, and it appears to function just fine. Ciao.